This is how I thought at 18 years old. This is how I achieved so much in the short years. This is how I went from a nobody to a world level athlete and a multimillionaire. Also, people confuse the two. Kickboxing is not boxing. I made in, in, across my entire career in kickboxing maybe about 700,000. I, I now have about eight or nine million. This was not made in kickboxing, this was made in other ventures. I have managed to be a world level athlete and an extremely successful businessman at exactly the same time. Because at a very young age when I had my prime resource of energy and power at 18, 19 years old, I understood those three tenets. I believe I can do anything. I'm pissed off I don't have the life I want. And nobody else is gonna give it to me. These are three things you need to understand. If any one of these elements is missing, You'll never have the right mindset. The G mindset will never formulate if any one of these elements is missing. All three are absolutely essential. And the sooner you get your act together, the sooner you start to panic and worry and be concerned that you're 24, 25, you're not fucking rich yet. There's 24 and 25 year olds out there who got a contract for a fucking NBA or their parents or they won the lottery, who knows what. There's 24 and 25 year olds out there who are multimillionaires fucking the hot models. These Instagram girls with 3 million followers, they're getting dicked by someone and it ain't you. And that needs to piss you off. You need to get concerned, you need to get worried, you need to, shit, I'm running out of time. You need to get some urgency in your life. Put these three things together is absolutely essential. It's the beginning of the G mindset. When you have these three, three things totally done, I'll tell you what happens. I'll tell you what happened for me. So I became a sayer. So my brother used to say, you've become a sayer. And what that means is I made a pact to him that my word was unbreakable, strength and honor and that if I said something, I meant it. So I'd wake up in the morning and I'd say to my brother, I'm doing a thousand press-ups today. Once I said it, once I spoke it, it's like, like a genie, it became true. If I said I was gonna do a thousand press-ups, I'd do them. Because if I didn't do them, I'd feel guilty within myself that I was the kind of person who talks shit. Because G's don't talk shit. So the three tenets we've already learned, when you've instilled these in your mind, you don't wanna be the kind of person who talks shit. So if I woke up to my brother and said, I'm doing a thousand press ups or I'm running 20 miles today, I would do it because if I didn't do it, I'd feel like a dickhead. Because when you instill these mindsets, when, you're, when your mindset changes, you start to be extremely accountable for yourself. No one's coming to save you. You become extremely accountable. So when you realize that your word is one of the few things you have on this planet, if you say things, you're gonna start sticking to them. So then it becomes very easy to train. You say, I'm gonna train every day this week. I'm gonna train for two hours a day. As soon as you set it, it's basically done. If I say something, it's basically done. It's, it's set in stone. If I say something, I'm going to do it. There's no way I'm gonna say, I'm gonna make, say some words and speak them into existence in this, on this planet. And then I'm gonna be the kind of pussy who quits because it's too hard. If I say I'm gonna do 10,000 push-ups, I'm gonna do it. Because I'm the kind of person who sticks to the words he says. And this is another thing you need to understand with the G mindset. You have to be very, very specific with what you say. Because if you can still your mindset correctly and you start to just say things, just start saying things. Then you hold yourself accountable. Say things you don't even think you want to do. Wake up and go up to your friend or your mom or whoever and say, you know what? I'm going to do a thousand push-ups today. Say it to people. And they're going to say, no, you're not. So watch me. And then you have a choice. You're either going to succeed like a G or you're going to be a little pussy. And you're going to quit at 310 because it's hard. What kind of man are you? That's a decision you need to make. But if you're the kind of man I was, I'd say shit and I'd fucking stick to it. My brother said, you become a sayer. I used to train with my brother. He'd say, let's do 500. He'd say, let's do 2,000. He'd say, well, you've said it now, so we have to do it. Say, exactly. I said it now, so now we have to do it. There is no surrender. I, we have to do it. This is another facet of the G mindset. This is number four. You've got to start saying shit, and your word has to be iron, unbreakable. This translates across everything in life. It's not just training. It translates across everything in life, even relationships. I say to my girlfriend, Stop fucking with me or you're out the house. Men say that all the time in arguments and then they continue to argue for two hours. They'll say that and then they'll argue. If I say that and she continues to talk shit, I start throwing her shit out the fucking door because I said it. And if I say something, I mean it. If I look a man in his eyes and say, I'm gonna whoop your ass, shut up, and he continues to talk, I have to kick his ass. I'm careful with what I say. If I tell him to shut up and he doesn't shut up, that's a different thing. If I say shut up or I'm gonna whoop your ass and he continues to talk, I will fuck him up. Because I'm the kind of person, if I say something, I mean what I say. I'm specific with my language, and I mean every word I speak. This is another tip, this is number four. You have to start meaning every word you speak. You say to someone, I'm gonna get rich. You better fucking do it. Otherwise, you're a liar. You're a liar, and you're a little bitch. If you say, I'm gonna put some muscle on, you better fucking do it. You say, I'm gonna lift this weight, you better fucking do it. You say, I'm gonna go get this girl, you better go get her. 
You gotta be the kind of person who says things and means them. You promise a guy you're gonna whoop his ass, you better whoop his ass. Don't be a person. 99% of the people out here talk shit. They say things they half mean or things they don't mean. If I say something, I fucking mean it. And this is number four, this is the fourth element. You've heard the first three, this is number four. Everything you say, you must mean. And once you implement that correctly, then you get the ability to motivate yourself to no end. You get unlimited motivation because all you have to do is find the energy to say it. You find the energy to say it, then you have to do it. It's literally that easy. I'd wake up in the morning and say, Tristan, we're running 20 miles today. And you'd say, oh, for fuck's sake. That's nearly a marathon. I'm like, yep, let's go. Doesn't matter, it takes all fucking day. I said it. And if I say something, it has to happen. This is the fourth tenet and one of the most important ones because that is the power to unlimited motivation. And that's the power to be taken seriously across all spheres of your life. Be specific with your language. I was in a restaurant the other day, some guy was arguing with his girlfriend. They were talking shit. He's like, you better be quiet. You better be quiet. He kept saying you better be, but there's no threat at the end of it. I didn't really like that. Like, if you're gonna make a threat, make a fucking threat, idiot. But my point is, he's trying to make a threat, but he has no threat at the end because it's empty and the bitch is ignoring him. Da, da, da. All these things translate across her entire sphere. Or if you say to a girl or a guy, you better be quiet or else, and then you don't follow through, they're gonna remember that shit. Even on a subconscious level, they're gonna remember that shit and your word's gonna be devalued. My word has value. Literally, I can go into, let's say the Ferrari dealership, I get my car something. I can say, I'll pay you tomorrow and shake his hand. He'll give me the car. He knows me. I can go and get my car fixed and say, I'll be back on Monday. I got something to sort out. He'll shake my hand. I don't lie. If I say I'll be back on Monday and I don't have money on Monday, I'll rob a bank to make sure I have money on Monday because I fucking said I'd be there to pay. It's the kind of person you need to be. So these are the first four elements of the G mindset. And when these sound like simple things, but to implement them correctly, truly and correctly in your mind will change your entire view of the world. You will start to look at everything completely differently. When you implement these four things correctly, when you say, if I say something, I'm gonna do it, my word is iron will. When you say that nobody is ever coming to save me ever. When you say that I'm pissed off, I don't have the life I want to have. And you couple that with, I believe I can do anything. If you truly believe all of these four things, it's gonna change your entire view of this planet. I'll wrap up quickly with probably my most famous tweet when I had Cobra tape. They, they verified me and everything and I spoke too much truth so I, so I had to go. When my, from my most famous tweet is when I said depression isn't real. And I had A-list celebrities. I had the girl from Game of Thrones. I had fucking literally A-list guys. There's, who's that dude from No Country from old, for Old Men and he was a bad guy in Bond as well. I actually quite liked him as an actor until he came for me. I was having arguments with all these people and everyone's telling me how, how dangerous my mindset is. What is dangerous about believing that you control your own mind? Because if you implement the four things I've just told you, depression becomes, a, becomes garbage. Depression's not a thing anymore. Feeling depressed is real. You can be depressed with your situation. I just told you, number two, get depressed, that's fine. But believing you can fix it yourself is the important key. Sitting there believing that depression is some monster from the sky that strikes your brain and now you have no control over it and you must take pills every day is the absolute enemy to a G mindset. I don't give a fuck how depressing my situation. The only person who can change it is me. The only person who can change how I feel about my situation or try and affect the situation directly is me. Even if you put me in a situation I can't change, if you put me in jail and I'm depressed because I'm in jail, I still refuse to succumb to depression. I refuse to collapse mentally and give up. I know the only person who can control my mind is me. Nobody's coming to save me. No doctor with a pill is coming to save me. Depression isn't real. Depression is a state of mind designed to motivate you to find a life that doesn't depress you any further. That's all it is. Now you have to decide, are you man enough to go and get it done or are you gonna sit around and cry? And depression, the reason I talk about depression a lot is because depression in the Western world is to cure all. It's to cure all excuse. This is what people are using. My life's shit because I'm depressed. No, you're depressed because your life is shit. It's the other way around and you're refusing to acknowledge that and you wanna sit there and live a shit life and pretend that some disease has struck you. And the reason you know that's bullshit, anyone out there who's depressed, I'll tell you something, you're not depressed, you're a coward. And the reason you're a coward is as follows. You desperately try to defend this crippling ailment you have. When I tell you depression isn't real, you message me pages and pages, desperate to convince me I'm wrong, that depression is a real thing, and that your life is terrible, and this ailment has destroyed your life because you're desperate to defend your excuse. 
If depression was really terrible, you wouldn't want to defend it. If depression was really so bad, and I'm telling you it's not real, and I know how to fix you, and if you implement a mindset like mine, you become immune to depression. If depression was so terrible, you'd listen to me and think, I need to try what this guy does. I need to do, if, if he's immune to depression, it's impossible to depress him, I need to be like this man. But instead, no, you don't want to do that. You want to call me names and sit and defend this ailment because you know it's garbage. It's your excuse, it's your blanket, it's your shield. It's your excuse you get to pull out every time you look at your failure of a life. And that's why depression is absolutely and utterly not real. Drop that coward bullshit. If you're watching this and you're depressed, drop and give me 200 press-ups. Do 200 press-ups. Look in the mirror, look in the, your eyes and tell yourself you're the fucking man and drop that garbage because you can get absolutely nowhere in your life if you believe in that crap. Depression absolutely isn't real. And that's, you're going to say this to people and they're going to fucking go nuts at you. And they're going to call you arrogant and they're going to call you all the things they called me. But your life is going to be a life worth living. Implement the four things I've told you. The four important tenets of a G mindset. Understand nobody's coming to save you. Depression isn't real. You'll change your entire worldview once these four things are implemented correctly. And then we can move on to everything.